Hi, welcome to today's book, which is Night Animals, which is our first explorer's title. Um, so this is a push and slide book. So it's rather nice and interactive. So I will have to do the interacting. Whoop. What can we see there? Yep, it's a fox. And there are some little foxes as well. Do you know what little foxes are called? Hmm, they're called cubs. What other nocturnal animals can we see in this picture? Which ones do you know? What do you know about them? Let's read the blurb. Remember the blurb is on the back, it tells you a little bit about the book, so when you pick one up, you can read the book and read the blurb and decide, hmm, is this a book for me? Right. Explore a meadow, farm and garden at night. With scenes to push and pull, animals to spot and fun facts, First Explorers is a magical introduction to the natural world. There are lots of other titles in this series as well. Yep. So many books to always be wanting to buy. Right, okay then. So here we go. Did you know that when you are fast asleep in bed at night, some animals are just waking up? They are called nocturnal animals, animals that come out at night. And they are asleep in the daytime when we are all busy doing our learning and having lots of fun. So can you see a vole? This is a vole. Can you see an owl? Can you see a cricket? Hmm. Can you spot those animals? Who is awake and who is asleep? Which animals can you see in this picture who are asleep? I can see some animals that are asleep. They are not nocturnal animals. Oh, shh, they're asleep. Oh, look at that one, those ones too. So cute. A mummy owl leaves her nest to hunt for voles and mice because she's going to eat them and bring them back for her little ones to eat as well. <gasps> Whoosh! Here we go. Here's the owl and her little baby owls. They're called owlets. Oh, I always think that's the cutest word. Ooh, back they go again. Time to turn the page. During the day, bats roost in trees and barns. So they that's where they kind of rest. At night, they open their wings and glide through the air. Whoosh. Can you see a firefly? Can you see a mouse? Can you see a badger? Badgers are one of my favourite animals. What have the badgers found to eat? Can you see? What do the badgers found to eat? Hmm, what do badgers find tasty? I don't think it's pizza and chocolate like us. <laughs> A bat squeaks as it flies, but we can't hear the sound that it makes. So high pitched. We can't hear it. Here are our little bats flying around. Whoosh! Off they go. And then who's this down here? Got the little cat. Oh, that moves that sometimes. <laughs> Some things, sometimes things are easier than you think they are. There are our owls, our bats flying around. Now, the mouse here needs to watch out for the cat and it would also need to watch out for the owl over here because both would want to <laughs> gobble them all up. Let's have a look at the next page. Foxes prowl the streets and search for tasty scraps, then go back to their dens to sleep. So where a fox lives is called a den. Can you see a spider? Can you see a cat? And can you see a moth? Moths are very similar to butterflies, but they tend to have darker colours than butterflies. Butters are, butterflies are very brightly coloured. Moths still have patterns and can be very beautiful, but they're, very, they're much darker. How many fox cubs can you count? Hmm, where are all the fox cubs? Oh, oh, how many fox cubs can you count? Oop. They're gone again. Huh. There they are again. Oh, 
Who else can you see? Who's hiding behind that box? Oh. A mummy fox teaches her cubs how to hunt and find food. So they'll eat scraps, but they'll also eat live creatures as well. I'll kill them and eat them. A bit like the owl up there. Next page. This book is so shiny. It's just so shiny. It reflects everything. Whoosh. Cats head outdoors to chase mice and play. They can see much better in the dark than we can, so their eyesight in the dark is much better than ours. Can you see a fox? Can you see a snail? Can you see a frog? So some of these creatures, like for example foxes and snails, and even frogs maybe, and probably a few others, or spiders, um, you might see them in the daytime as well. Foxes particularly, you see much more in the daytime than you used to. But they used they they used to be more nocturnal, and now they um, well animals change their habits sometimes, and um, it also depends on what suits them for looking for their food. So foxes have changed their ways. They tended to live more in the countryside, and then they they moved towards the cities because they could find lots of easy food and all the scraps, all the rubbish we were throwing away. So they changed their ways. Before a cat pounces, it crouches down and, you'll like this, wriggles its bottom. So next time you're looking at a cat and it maybe is near to something you think it might be interested in to uh, try and catch, watch out for its bottom wiggling. Which night animal is making a lot of noise? Which night animal is making a lot of noise, do you think? I mm, don't think it's the cat or, or the mouse. I think it might be the frogs. That's right, frogs can be very noisy. And there we go. That's the end of that book. I hope you enjoyed it, my darlings. Night animals. Just a few of the many nocturnal animals there are. I wonder if you can find out about some more. Bye for now.